This video will show you how due date and point value from the Beyond Labs LTI works with your learning management system. If you've already watched our grading video, uh, you'll know that grading happens within the Beyond Labs LTI. Uh, however, due date, uh, setting due dates and adjusting point values happens within your learning management system. So it's one less thing for you to worry about. You can adjust due dates and point values in the Beyond Labs LTI. And if you are interested in that, feel free to check out the advanced settings video. But for now, I just want to show you how that works within your LMS. So with your LMS, no matter what it is, you'll want to go to where you can adjust due dates of your assignments. It's different for every LMS. And all you do is adjust the due date for the assignment and it will set the due date uh, for your students. So I can pick any date, set the time, and go from there. Uh, that should be pretty straightforward. Uh, what I want to point out in this video, and the reason why we have this video, is to show you what happens when you adjust the point values. So beyond labs, we have defaulted each question in our worksheets to 10 points each. For some of you, that may be too much, that may be too little. You can adjust the points to suit your preferences, but I want to show you what happens. So let's say I think 120 is too much. I like to have mine out of 53 points. So I'm going to click save here and it's going to adjust my worksheet now to out of 53 points. But if you or your students actually look at the worksheet, it's still going to say 120 points. And that's okay. If you want to change that to 53, again, watch the advanced techniques video. Uh, but what's going to happen is your students will get a score in the Beyond Labs LTI out of 120 and then that score will be scaled in your learning management systems gradebook. So let me show you how that works. So if I go to my test student in Canvas and I were to click on this worksheet, I see here it's out of 53 points. Um, I can click start assessment. I'm just going to answer this first question. And then I'm going to leave the student view. So in that first question, the student would have gotten 10 out of 120. But you'll see what it did here is it scaled it to out of 53. So instead of 10 out of 120, it gave the student 4.42 out of 53. Um, and as far as adjusting the specific grade and uh, adjusting the grade from there, please watch the grading video. But that's just to show you what happens with the Beyond Labs uh, point systems. Now, what's important here is this scaling only happens if a student has not completed the assignment before. So you want to be sure that you have adjusted all the point values for your worksheet before you assign them to your student. So if I, as a test student, went in and did the Millikan oil drop experiment, it would be out of 160 points right now. Um, and then if the instructor, you as the instructor, forgot to change this and you wanted this to be, let's say, half of that, you wanted it to be out of 80 points, well, you would now have to go in and manually change any student that has already completed the worksheet. So make sure that you as the instructor adjust all of your point values before you assign these worksheets to your students. Otherwise, you'll have to go and... Uh, hand grade and change all of the students that have already done the work so it's it's a very nice system it will adjust to your point preferences as long as you uh, put that work in up front so if you have any questions please reach out to us again we have a great support team we uh, have an awesome community on our beyond labs community page um, and not, as always, check for other videos that will help you uh, learn how to do things like grading or advanced settings.